The four partnership schools came in. St. Thomas Aquinas was slated to close back in January of 2020. And we were serving at the time 176 students total. We um, had got the word that we were going to be closing. There was a lot of anxiety within the school. There was a lot of uncertainty. And then God went to work. And when partnership announced that they would be uh, coming in, um, stability came back. There was sort of a sigh of relief among the whole school community. You know, I feel like partnership was God's answer to us. So in terms of one-on-one -on -one work with the Halley Foundation, we've had members of the foundation come in and work with us individually in helping our recruitment and uh, enrollment, and obviously financially contributing to um, the needs of both St. Thomas Aquinas and Archbishop Lake. I've never heard of uh, a school management system before, so, you know, just doing enough research to figure out, <clears throat> like, just how the operations run, what their daily schedules look like. So there were no concerns other than who's going to help us get to where we need to succeed for not just ourselves, but mainly our children. In addition to that, both St. Thomas Aquinas and Archbishop Lake received new curriculum in every single grade level in grades K through five. So a lot of the donations um, allowed us to not only get that curriculum, but also the appropriate training and professional development to go along with it. After doing a curriculum for 20 years and then in, the, in your 21st year you get a new curriculum it was hard turning the switch on and off but i was gifted a little um help from a coach through professional development and that kind of helped me to become more comfortable with the curriculum i love the curriculum because it offers a lot of different strategies and not just one particular strategy to solve a problem and my kids really enjoyed it. The Saxon math and definitely the homeschool version of it definitely uh, took our students to a, a new challenge. Um, having to do a lot more than they were used to. Having to recall information every day was a new uh, thinking process that they've never really done before. And the other thing is with partnership, there was a lot of professional development. So things, you know, even though I've been teaching for 19 years, we talked about deeper learning, the deeper thinking. We talked about um, how to know how, if the kids are actually processing information. We learned how to enhance critical thinking skills uh, within the classroom. Phrases like we can do hard things to uh, reinforce uh, positive learning. We also went with uh, We Are Better Together, especially with this, you know, crazy past school year. We Are Better Together was a, a great root belief that we could um, install and use in the classroom, the hallways, and any opportunity to where we met. I did look at it as a good thing. We were staying open and they were telling us the good things that were going to come about with partnership as far as the new curriculum, as far as um, the change in hours and um, the things that we had to look forward to. We have incredibly strong teachers, all who are now well-versed in their curriculum and specific teaching strategies. And we want to be able to offer as much of that as possible to the students, which is the main reason behind extending the day. With that, um, a lot of our classes are longer than they used to be. Our all math and all CKLA or language arts classes are block periods, meaning they're double a typical class. And the extra time in the day allows us to not just dive into those curriculums for longer, but it also offers time for enrichment. I want to, and all the other, the other teachers, want to build up students' uh, self-esteem, students' character, a lot of times the extra time, even when we were talking about history, I could bring up Christ. I could speak about our faith. It was a better together, we can do hard things type of year. And having gone through this year, I think it really equipped us with the necessities to be able to endure next year. We know more, we've experienced more. So going into next year, I feel confident that having 
gone through what we went through this year, we're able to be more sustainable. We're able to be more um, be more apparent for our, our teachers as well as our, our parents and, and ourselves. So I'm excited to try out my, my new found knowledge on my new students. I'm so excited for a stable, strong, invested, intentional school culture to start off day one. Um, along with a little bit of breathing room for every teacher who had to take on a new curriculum this last year. None of these things would be possible to us without our donors like the Hallie Foundation who believe in us, believe in what we offer our students, believe in the future and potential of our students. We physically would not be here to do it without that funding, but also we wouldn't be able to do it at the capacity that we are now without the help of our donors.